I'm joined today by Vladimir Saganov, Senior Solutions Architect at Alibaba Cloud. Alibaba Cloud is a keen supporter of SVG Europe and its events, and will be known to many of you uh, as a global leader in cloud computing and artificial intelligence, providing services to thousands of enterprises, developers, and organizations in more than 200 countries and regions around the world with cloud computing and data processing capabilities as part of its online solutions. Since 2017, Alibaba Cloud has also been the official cloud services partner of the Olympics. Welcome to you, Vladimir. Great to uh, have you with us today. Um, so I wanted to start off just by asking you, um, what's your view on the barriers to greater efficiency that are faced by content creators? Um, hello, everyone. Um, thanks, uh, George, for having me today. My pleasure. Um, yeah, we dive right into the topic today, um, and we'll we'll try to explain um, how do we work with our customers in the domain of the media, and I will try to share uh, more experience from our side, what we do here. And answering to your question, I think um, this is a good beginning for us, a good opening question for us to warm up on, on further discussion. Um, but well, um, we have extensive practice uh, working with the content creators, with the uh, media broadcasters, and I would here focus on four main uh, challenges or, or, as you refer, barriers. The first is uh, we, grow, we are living in digital era, right? And what we see is unprecedented audience demand for the new content, um, not just daily, but probably a lot of them are expecting the streaming, um, the, the content in, in the life. So it creates a new type of the challenges and barriers, especially in, in, uh, in the domain of technology. The second one is about the uh, how the content creators can do uh, uh, can create the new content faster without all these um, um, challenges coming from the technology services. Um, so it is about the focus on content development uh, and creating the value for the fans and for the um, uh, for the final viewers uh, and not infrastructure. So uh, focus on where you have expertise and where you are master. Uh, in, and let all these technicalities to the trusted vendor, like Alibaba Cloud, uh, fixing uh, the issue for them uh, on their behalf. And the last is about the leveraging the global connectivity. And I'm not only uh, talking about the, to distribute the content globally, but engage with the fans um, uh, freely and globally, as well as uh, communicate with the talent if your team is highly distributed, uh, not only in one country and one region, but all around the earth. So how would you say the cloud is helping media companies to, to deliver content to a wider range of platforms? Mm. Um, I think here we also have um, a quite a universal approach of uh, uh, helping the media companies to deliver the more content uh, to a wider range of the platforms. Uh, first of all, the cloud is probably, the, and, and for sure, is the best place to innovate. Innovate by testing new services, uh, new approaches, new content, learn from the failures, and, and learn how to improve your services on a go, uh, leveraging from the elasticity of the cloud infrastructure. The second one is about the saving the cost on the infrastructure, where you don't need actually to have any upfront investment before you start to, to do something. Uh, and instead, you're only focusing on paying for services that you actually consume. And that's where the cloud services provide its flexibility. Uh, and the third right now, Alibaba Cloud is focusing on, 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 on creating uh, cloud native services for, for, for media customers where we offering a new type of the um, uh, built in in our console services for video processing, distribution, storage and archiving analysis, uh, intro introducing of the, some of the AI services uh, in the area of uh, recommendations in auto labeling, um, in processing of um, uh, video and images um, while you are delivering them to the uh, um, to, to, to the viewers and the fans. And one of the native services that I would like to highlight is the Absara Video. Uh, this is the complete platform for uh, basically end-to-end -end development of your uh, media, starting from the um, video collection, editing, uploading, media management, automatic transcoding, video review and analysis, and deliver acceleration. So all in one, 
uh, with the set of the API and SDKs available for, for our end users uh, right from the console of Alibaba Cloud. And lastly, what we offer for uh, content creators and broadcasters is actually the set of the standard cloud services. Uh, and here we usually uh, see the demand from our end customers uh, for cloud storage for the media. As you see, the um, um, the media files are growing in its size, 4K, 8K, and uh, and it, 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 it's it's certainly a trend. So the amount of the um, uh, uh, of the storage services that they they need will grow exponentially. Uh, another type is around networking, global networks and computing. Uh, also, the networking services for content distribution, CDN, for example. Right now, Alibaba Cloud owns more than 2,800 nodes globally. And of course, building more secure services using our services and whole things around data analytics and, and, and AI solutions. And as I was referring, uh, it might be a more classic like content recommendations. Uh, or more advanced uh, in uh, recognition of the uh, image, video, voice, et cetera, converting these into the new services for end users. And I mentioned earlier about uh, Alibaba's, uh, Alibaba Cloud's relationship with the Olympics. C can mm. you give us an idea of the role that Alibaba played in, in aiding the IOC's digitization efforts at Beijing 2022? Uh -huh. Sure, I think it's one of the, my favorite topics um, as I've been involved already in uh, in two games in Tokyo and Beijing, me personally. Um, and we're now preparing for the next one in Paris 2024. Uh, but certainly Beijing games will be remembered for not just incredible performance and, uh, and a true sponsorship, uh, but for the advent of, um, uh, of a more sustainable digital era. Um, for sports with IT infrastructure built in solely on the cloud. And Alibaba Cloud, as the technical uh, partner of uh, Olympic Committee, we have focused on four main uh, areas. The first is we help with digitalization of the core operations, meaning that uh, the organizing committee can deploy all their core services like Olympic management system, uh, distribution system, games management, as it runs solely on a cloud and leverage all the benefits of the uh, uh, of the underlying uh, cloud services. Second is about the core business of uh, whole IOC organization is about digital broadcasting. And we work closely with them to help uh, the initiatives called uh, OBS Cloud uh, to operate during the game. And uh, the uh, game, uh, Beijing games were the first one where we have uh, experience uh, the broadcasting directly from the uh, pl public cloud infrastructure, leveraging the uh, highly scalable, resilient, uh, and secure global infrastructure of uh, Alibaba Cloud. The third about the competition itself. So we had the uh, multi camera replay system. Um, and this service creates um, more immersive viewing experience for the sports fans. Uh, and we also can leverage some of the um, uh, advanced technologies around the 3D representations of the sports scenes in 4K quality um, that can be uh, further processed for, um, uh, for creating additional content and, and highlights. And the last but not least uh, is about digital experience. Digital experience is all about new type of the engagement that we have with the fans. Uh, and here we introduced during the game two interesting solutions. One is the Cloud Me, which is an innovative technology powered by our platform for real-time communication, RTC solution, uh, that facilitated the live sites, true to life interactions via remote meetings. And uh, there was the example when uh, uh, our president of Alibaba uh, group uh, met with the uh, president of IOC, uh, and it was recorded as the live video, but they were actually in different locations. All these were powered by Alibaba uh, cloud AI technologies and underlying networking and compute power uh, of our public uh, cloud services. Another interesting innovative that we have introduced was around the virtual influencer. Uh, we're all into the new type of the solutions where we have AI assistant, where we have AR, VR experience and coming metaverse experience. So that was uh, quite a hot topic during the game. And we have we have helped to um, develop the advanced digital persona 
powered by um, AI technologies from Alibaba Cloud. And we named um, this cloud assistant as Dong Dong. Um, and she helped to uh, to communicate with Olympic fans during the live streaming, answering to some of the questions or give her comments on some of the interesting facts. Um, so it's always entertaining and quite interesting for fans um, who is open to engage with new type of the uh, um, Olympic uh, digital services. Thank you, Vladimir. Some fascinating insights there into the technologies and the applications of those technologies as well that um, I think will undoubtedly be driving forwards the sports production and broadcasting industries over the next few uh, years or so. Thank you for that. And we look forward to hearing more from you and your colleagues over the coming weeks and months. Thanks very much, Vladimir.